Right, we're going to learn how to factor these type of questions that have four terms in them. Okay, and it's, uh, there is a pattern to them. But first of all, look at them, and as with any of these factoring questions, see if there's a greatest common factor. Is there something you can divide out of all of these four terms? So you look at it and you go, well, there's no letters in 96, so I can't take any letters out. Uh, there's no numbers in XY, the third term. So look at that. There's actually nothing you can pull out of those four terms, nothing to divide by, nothing common to all four. So what we do is we, call, we do something called factor by grouping, like factor by cheating. Because what we do is this, right? I'm going to split this in two. Okay, now I've split it in two. Now I've kept that middle sign, that middle plus sign, because I'm going to be able to, I'm going to use that in part of the question. So remember, we have um, these four terms. I'm going to keep the middle plus sign, but I've split it down the middle. Now then, what can I factor out of the first two? Not all four, just the first two. It looks to me like they'll both divide by eight. Not two or four. Eight's the best. So I'm going to divide by eight. Wait a minute. Sorry, there's a cat about to eat my food. Divide by eight. Go away. Go away, cat. Sorry. Divide by eight. Okay, so if I divide both these by 8, remember, that's what I can factor out of them. What's left when I do? Right, well, a, that'll give me, let me leave with x. And 96 divided by 8 is 12. Okay, there we go. I just factored 8 out of the first two terms. Now, here's what I mean by keep that middle sign. All right, there it is. Right, an x, y, and a 12, y. Sounds like a y to me. So dividing both by a y. So it's like saying that's gone, that's gone. Well, it looks like, oh, I pulled the Y out, so let's write the Y. And what's left is an X plus 12. All right. Now, look at this. Now, look at those questions from the previous video when we factored out a parenthesis. All right. Can you see that both of these parentheses are the same? They've both got X plus 12s in them. And that's the pattern for all of these kind of questions. All right. And um, when students say, but what if it's not that? Well, then it's not, nothing to do with this. It's nothing to do with factor by grouping. It might be something for college algebra. We don't do it in this, okay? So, um, okay, so again, like the previous video, what can I factor out of both of these? Well, what's common to both? An x plus 12. Uh, what's left when I do factor that out? An 8 plus y, okay? And that's it. That's the answer. Uh, those two next to each other. Not a plus in between. It's that one and that one. Looks like you might want to do a foil, okay? But you're not going to. Right. Okay. So, question 17. 17 is not a little bit tricky. The reason why it's a tricky one is if I split this down the middle, there's a minus here, which I will keep, but then it kind of... I'll do that one later, okay? Next one I think I'll do, I'll do 19, okay? So, again, let's just run through exactly the same thing. I am going to split this right down the middle, okay? Split it right down the middle. Right, okay, so what can I factor out of a 3xy and a 15x? Well, I hear x in both, but how about 3 and a 15? They'll both divide by 3. So these will both divide by 3x, because there's an x in both, isn't there? So I'm going to divide both by 3x. So that, again, is the thing I'm factoring out. What's left from these first two terms when I do? Divide both by 3x, well, it looks like the 3s cancel, the x cancel. Right, it looks like I've got a y left. Okay, y left. What's the sign? Minus. Right, Div looks like the x's have gone here. But when I do division, 15 divided by 3? 5. Right, now, if this goes all to plan, there's going to be another y minus 5, okay, on the other side as well. Right. Okay, so look at the second two. Oh, by the way, remember? Keep the middle sign. Out there. Okay, 7y and 35. No letters, but they'll both divide by 7. So let's divide by 7. Divided by 7. Right, well, that's going to go, isn't it? So that's going to be y. Oh, sorry, I took a 7 out. Don't forget to write that. Keep forgetting. Okay, in fact, there's a 7 out. What's left when I do? A y minus, what's 35 divided by 7? 5, and there's the pattern, folks. Okay, look at that. There's that y minus 5 again. So again, what's common to both? A y minus 5. That's what I'll factor out. And when I do, what's left, very visual, just the 3x 
plus 7. Okay, so that's very visual, is that? Um, so we'll leave it there, and I'll do some maybe some more trick ones in the next video.